led to 25 points for the Wizards. Let's hear from head coach Steve Nash. Um, what were you seeing on the defensive side of the ball? I know the Wizards have, you know, two great store scores, but what were you seeing on the defensive side that allowed the Wizards to hang around and give them a chance to steal it? You know, that was basically the message after the game. Uh, gave up 149 points, 72 points in the paint, uh, 48 points in the fourth quarter. 17 turnovers didn't help, but, you know, the defense just wasn't good enough. And uh, I think everyone realizes, you know, we obviously have many opportunities to win it down the stretch at the end of the game there, but probably didn't deserve it the way we guarded all night. So um, frustrating night and, and uh, our level dropped and we got to pick it up. Was um, drawn up for that that uh, that last offensive possession. TLC had the miss, but was it just a good basketball play on his his cut? Was that the idea going in? What were you looking for? Yeah, we had uh, Kevin on the block there. Um, the play with he had his he had his ISO or Kai coming off, and they flooded Kevin. So we knew that he, he had a cut, and somebody had the cut, cut, and he got it and got a wide open one, and just wasn't able to finish. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Steve, when you look at that, I guess the the second to last sequence where um, the uh, Bradley Bill hits a three, inbound pass is stolen, Russell Westbrook hits a three. Where are you looking at as the the biggest breakdown in in that sequence? It's an unfortunate moment. Joe uh, just threw it in, and Kevin was cutting the wrong one, cutting a different direction. So it was just uh, an error, and it happens. Uh, but when you give up 149 points, you know, that's one error in about 50 defensive lapses. So, you know, not good enough defensively. And we can look at the this layup or the turnover for the three there, but you, you, we shouldn't have been in that position. You know, we, we, uh, we had a big lead early and we let them stay around a long, long time until their confidence grew. They're a desperate team looking for a win. And uh, we gave them a chance and gave them life. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Steve, maybe not quite to this extent, but I mean, this has been a reoccurring issue where you guys have faced some teams with, quote, lesser records, uh, and you've had big leads and blown them. I mean, is this a case where you think, you know, people, they know where the standings are, they know where D.C. is, and they just kind of took their foot off the gas and thought that this was over? You know, it's, it's hard to argue with that perspective. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of, a, it's a little bit... Uh, intangible but it definitely felt like you know we, we you know it did it didn't mean enough to get stops maybe we thought we had it in the bag but uh you know too many times we let them waltz right down the lane and get layups and they're a good offensive team i'll give them that they spread the floor with shooters and they have guys that can get to the rim but you know our, our level dropped and uh we let too many guys get to the rim to the tune of 72 uh points in the paint and that is uh one way to lose a game for sure Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey, Steve, talking about that 18-point lead early on, is there one thing in particular that you kind of thought led to them getting back in it and, and obviously the, the snowball coming from there, whether it was the turnovers or just the, the defensive collapses? Both turnovers. I thought we, had, we turned it over a bunch when we had the lead uh, or when we could have had a bigger lead even. Um, you know, just allowed them to hang around and give them some confidence. Um, they, you know, they scored a 149, and they, they missed a bunch of threes that, that they are very capable of making. So, you know, it could have been worse. But, uh, you know, I, I think we just let our foot off the gas, thought we were going to win, and uh, that's a dangerous game to play. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Coach, when, when you, I guess, tomorrow when you go look at film, is there going to be any one area that you're looking for defensively? Or is it, you know, just like where are you going to look tomorrow to kind of get things back on track? You know, the most important thing I think is individual pride, you know, making every possession count and mean something. I think too many possessions didn't mean enough to us tonight. Um, we got to sit down in a stance and guard and make it difficult. And if we can cut out, you know, three or four of those paint attempts or baskets, you know, we win the game. But I mean, you'd hope you can clean up a heck of a lot of them. And, uh, you know, I think more than anything, it's just a little bit of pride and a little bit of, um, you know, uh, desperation to guard the ball and keep them out of the paint.